Alright, so before this guide starts, I would just like to apologize, guys, for not uploading on Tuesday. I'm really sorry. Uh, I got behind in school and I really needed to catch up, but I'm all caught up now and the videos will be coming out on a regular basis. And if you didn't know already, my schedule is Tuesday and Saturday. So look out for videos. Alright, so now you think you got what it takes to go out and trade your way up to a mystery decal. Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Incarnid, and welcome to another video. So a lot of you guys have been saying, Incarnid, how did you trade your way up to two mystery decals? Well, this might seem a little overwhelming at first, but it's really not as hard as you think. So that's why I wanted to teach you guys how to trade your way up to a mystery decal. This is the ultimate guide to trading in Rocket League. Before you go off into your trading experiences, you're gonna need a couple things to help you along the way. First is a price guide. The one shown right now on the screen will be linked in the description. This tells you the price of almost every item in the game and it's updated every single day. Yes, this is Steam prices, but if you're on console like I am, it's still really helpful. It gives you a general idea of what everything's worth and how much it's worth compared to other items. It's really easy to navigate and is basically the reason why I got two mystery decals, so make sure you have this open at all times. For the next one, just type into your browser rocket-league.com slash trading or click the link in the description. It'll take you to this trading site where you can view and create trade offers. This site has a really awesome filter section at the top where you can select your platform, an item that you have or are looking for, and the filter also goes as far as to selecting paint and certification. This is super helpful for finding both experienced and unexperienced traders on your platform. This combined with the price guide will allow you to trade smart. Alright, so now you think you got what it takes to go out and trade your way up to a mystery decal. Well, having these tools doesn't automatically make you a trading master. Let's talk about margins. When it comes to trading in Rocket League, margins are the difference between the value of an item and the value of the item you traded it for. So if I traded an item worth 5 keys, and I got an item worth 7 keys in return, my margin was a 2 key profit. You want this profit to be as high as possible, so you can eventually work your way up to an item worth a mystery decal. So remember not to waste your time on trading items that are worth the same value. Once you have an item worth a mystery decal, be aware that since your item isn't a mystery decal, you may have to overpay a little to get that person's mystery. So now you know about trading tools and margins. You're almost ready to go out and trade. Next, we're going to talk about patience. This is one of the most important things when trading, and most traders just overlook this completely. Patience is the difference between getting one mystery decal for an item and getting two or three for it. If you have an item that people want and it's worth a little bit, you need to be patient. I could have gotten three mystery decals for my wheels that I traded, but I wasn't patient enough and I got two for it. Just keep looking on the training websites and watch how items are fluctuating in price and I promise a better offer will show up eventually and it will be completely worth it in the end. So just keep looking, unless it's too good to be true then definitely contact the person but just make sure you know what you're doing and stay patient. Okay so now the very last thing before you go and trade for that mystery decal. Let's say you have an item that's worth a lot, and you get offered a trade with huge profit for you. You go to the trade, accept it, the trade goes through, and bam, you just got scammed. Your item is gone, you got nothing for it, and now you're screwed. This cannot be you. Not only does it suck to get scammed, but now you have nothing and your hopes and dreams of getting a mystery decal are gone. This is why we are going to talk about scammers and how to avoid their tricks. There are two types of scammers. The first one is the junk thief. 
This scammer will put their valuable item in for one of your valuable items in the trade. Seems fair, right? Well, next they're going to put a bunch of junk items in, and those will fill up the slots. And then what this does is it makes it so that you can't see the first item they put in, which is their valuable item. And so while they're putting in their junk items, they'll secretly take out the valuable item without you noticing, accept the trade, and if you didn't notice at all, you just accept, and boom, you get scammed. Just like that. This scam is actually really easy to prevent, and all you gotta do is just go over to their items and just scroll up so that you can see their valuable item, and that way if they take it out, you'll see it. And also make sure that the item is in there before you accept any trade, no matter who it is, if you didn't already check. The second type of scammer is the duplicator. This scammer will tell you that he can duplicate your item by doing some simple, easy steps. These steps consist of you putting in your very valuable item, accepting the trade, and then going to your network settings and hitting test connection. You get back on and see that the scammer has blocked you, and your item is gone. You have just been scammed. Basically what happened was, you going to your network settings allows the scammer to accept the trade and go through with it normally, He'll get the item for free, you'll get nothing, and you won't be able to see it. Hitting test connection will put you offline, all the scammer needs to do is go to your profile, block you, and you'll never hear from him again, and he'll have the item. This is also very easy to prevent. All you gotta know is, there's no such thing as a duplication glitch. That's it. And if someone says they'll do it, just say no, okay? It is just that simple. Do not fall for anyone's scams. If this guide helped you out, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out, guys. Have a great day, and I will see you all later.